Now, whether you're here or whether you're in the spirit world, you are going to have to experience the results of every single action you took. Right? Now, most of us don't do that here because we ignore the results of most of the actions we took. So what we need to do is come to allow the results to hit us in their full emotional force. Remember, this is an emotional process that's going to hit us in their full emotional force. So I'll go through feelings of you know, shame and then probably deeper feelings and I'll actually grieve what I did. I will go into a state of grieving, which is actually a state of repentance. Uh, A-N-C-E. -A -A Right, we go into a state of repentance. And in that state of repentance, we are now grieving what we did. We are coming to a full knowledge emotionally of the things we've done to harm others. Now, in that state, that is a beautiful time to call upon God. Because there's an emotion in response that if you call upon God and you long to God, there's an emotion that God gives in response to your repentance. And that emotion is this misused term, grace or mercy. So rather than, actually, rather than you now having to experience the full results of the law of compensation, because you're in a state of repentance, because you're feeling the emotion of repentance, God, through this mechanism of longing for her love, will give you mercy or grace and you'll feel a feeling of peace overcome you about the situation. And in fact, when you feel that feeling of peace overcome you about the situation, you will know in your heart that you have forgiven yourself for the particular issue that you faced. And you've done it emotionally, by the way. This is not an intellectual process. It's an emotional process where you forgive yourself. You've now forgiven yourself for what is done because you can feel God's forgiveness work through you, through this action of repentance. This is, by the way, one of the highest laws of the universe, believe it or not. When you, when you enact this repentance from, a heart, from the heart, you call into being a high law that actually overcomes the law of compensation. And what this law does is the law of mercy or grace, or you could think of it the law of divine love, which is the biggest laws of the universe. What it happens is through that law, God then actually helps take away from you the underlying pain of the results of your actions. Now, if that didn't occur, you would have to experience exactly the pain you created. Now, imagine if we're talking about an abortion. I just described some of the pains that an aborted child goes through. If you don't go through the process of repentance, you will have to go through the process of the law of compensation. And the process of the law of compensation is exactly what you have dealt out is what will be dealt to you in pain. Does that make sense? That's one of the laws of the universe. But the law of grace or mercy, which is invoked through the law of repentance, overcomes the law of compensation. So as long as you're willing to go through that process, you can very rapidly deal with this problem or this problem of what we've done that's disharmonious with love. When we go through that, we'll come out the other side feeling a sense of peace. You'll be able to talk freely with anyone about that particular issue without crying. Right? And you'll be able to actually mention it in public without feeling ashamed when you've fully processed yourself through that emotion and feel the foot repentance fully. And this is how many spirits who are now in the celestial world can come to you and tell you all the bad things they did while they were on earth and know that they've been forgiven for all of those things. Does that make sense? 